What up, y'all? This is your boy Top Dot with another rant. And this one is about this young dude right here, Daniel Caesar, man. I guess he decided he wanted to go on his Instagram and tell, I guess, us black people how we should stop being so mean to white people and stop, I guess, antagonizing them instead of them antagonizing us, you know. And I guess he was trying to tell us how we should stop and go ahead and do some type of plan that they had. I'm not too sure, but I do got a little footage, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let y'all see this footage in a second and let y'all decide for yourself. And then I'm going to get back to y'all and let y'all know what I really think about Mr. Daniel Caesar and whatever the hell he talking about with black people and being mean and all of that. So y'all go ahead and peep this out. I'll be right back. Are there black people in this, in this chat right now? I can't tell. Yo, I'm not... to make sure there is. I love you guys. Yo, you guys are listening, and I love you guys so much, but this we're, like, talking about something serious, so I'm, like, I don't want to talk about shows or, like, being, you know, like, artist stuff. Where's my... Why, as... I don't know which black people are in here, but I want you guys to talk up right now. Why... Why do we... Oh, I saw it here. Yeah. I heard something drop. Why do... Why... Why are we being so mean to Jules? <laughs> Why are we being so mean to white people right now? That's a serious question. Can you pass me the Why is it that we're allowed to be disrespectful and rude to everybody else? And when anybody returns any type of energy to us, that's not, that's not a quality. I don't want to be treated like I can't take a joke. Mm. I just went through that, that, the fucking Chappelle shit and I had to like in the moment acknowledge that I was being fucking sensitive. You know what I'm saying? And that I need to be able to take a joke just like everybody else. No. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. All right. Listen here, Mr. Caesar. One thing. Black people have been through enough in America. We know what's going on. We know what's happening. We know how to play the game. How I go? Two. We're not being mean to white people. Please believe me, bro. If we were being mean to white people, it would be way more laws than what it is defending their said white people that we're harassing. Three, my dude, you're not from here. You don't really know the, the mixture of culture, cultural differences, and everything that's been happening here intricately to be telling us what it is and what it ain't. Four, little homie, your music ain't that good <clears throat> for you to become no ambassador of uh, black folks already. You know, you just don't got that, that one-up card. You know what I mean? You're not the Snoop Dogs of America. You're not the E-40s and everything. So... Lean back a little bit, Fat Joe status, man. But with that being said, I just was going along, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more. And I guess he decided to stick his foot a little bit further in his mouth. So just I'm going to go ahead and give y'all just a little bit more of what he was saying. Now, I'm going to tell all my super, super conscientious black folks, y'all going to be looking like Luffy right now. That's some biblical shit. Yo, bridging the gap, man. You have to bridge the gap. I'm sorry, yo, I'm drunk soul. as fuck right now, okay? Soul, but I don't, I don't care. That's not helping. I've seen it. Yo, I've, I've, as, as we are an independent company, Golden Child is an independent company. As an independent company, I, me and, and my dogs, right here, we have the opportunity to empl employ black people. Mm -hmm. we, we put so much money in black people's pockets. But also, we put money in white people's pockets. That's just what it is. Yo, yeah, you guys are gonna... Yo. All I'm saying... You have a pure soul. Because your goal is love. All, all, I, want, all, I, all I want is love. I'm gonna keep it honest. And say what you guys want, but it's like... I truly believe in what I'm saying right now. I don't think that being, that being sensitive to the point of not letting someone else say what they want around you... And you can be fucking... You can be... You can be offended, that's fine. Tell them that they're a piece of shit, but it's like, to not allow people to say what they want doesn't help you. Mm. You have to look, yo, are we winning right now as a culture? Or, or like, are we on top of a society? Mm. We're, we're not. And you can't, you can't win the game by choosing to not accept the winning team strategy. Yo, this dude said the winning team strategy. 
I, see, I'm done. See, the new age folks, that's what y'all problem is. Y'all need to research. Get a little bit of knowledge about certain things, certain places, certain aspects of life, man. Let them know, like, y'all need to basically delve deep into the culture and everything about it instead of just off the top scratching something and then throwing it back in our face. Believe me, we done had a lot of Daniel Caesars here in America. So we know how to deal with them and we know what we're talking about. But Daniel Caesar, no. At the end of the day, black people got their flaws, white people got their flaws. We should just come together in one instance and just make the world a better place anyway, man. And all that other kumbaya stuff. But Daniel Caesar, next time, keep your mouth closed. Because you ain't get too good of a reaction like you thought you was. Until next time, this is Top Dot. I'm out.